Hey guys, welcome back. This video is going to be a tutorial of this look featuring tada, my Urban Decay Wise 2 palette which my sister brought for me from Canada when she came back. <clears throat> so you must be wondering where I was missing all these days. I had the worst infection in my throat and it also traveled to my lungs. This was the worst infection of my life and I am still under medication. I am still recovering from it but I am feeling much better than I was feeling 3-4 days back when I could not even speak properly. So I am happy that I am back to filming and back to recording videos and if you want to see a full tutorial of this look then keep watching this video. To start the look I am going to prime my eyes using my Urban Decay Primer Potion. Okay, so the colors that I am going to use today is this one here called Damaged, this bronzy, sparkly bronze color called Radar and to smoke out my outer corners I will use this color here called Smoked Out. Now taking that green color using my Sigma E60, E55 brush, I place it on all over my lids. Now take that sparkly bronze color on 217 brush and apply it in the crease, blending that green color. Always remember to tap off the axis because this color has a bit of fallout. On a fluffier brush like this, I will take this color here called Rewind and blend it, blend the bronze color. Now taking that same green color a little bit, on the same fluffy brush, I will place it in the brown. For my brow highlight, I will take this color here called Doe and also apply it in the inner tear of my eyes. Using an angle brush. Taking the pointier side of the same brush and apply the same Doe color in my tear duct. And now taking a pencil brush, this is 219 from MAC. I will apply damage in the inner under my lower lash line then that sparkly bronze color towards the outer corner of my lower lash line I should not have done my concealer and foundation earlier because this my shadows have fall out and then Taking the same 217 brush which we used earlier, I will kind of darken my outer V. Now taking a small angle brush like this, I will take this color, this gold color here called stripe and apply it in the inner part of my lower lash line. So this completes our eyeshadow part. I will now go ahead and apply a black liner in the inner rim of my eye. This is my YSL one. little bit of liquid liner on my upper lash line
zooming that line a little bit. Time for some mascara and go ahead and apply my Laveline de Chanel mascara on my both upper and lower lashes. Okay guys, so this completes our eyes. I will now go ahead and clean up all the fallouts and show you what I did on the rest of my face. Okay guys, so off camera I went ahead and cleaned up all the fallouts and reapplied my concealer and also perfected my skin. So I will now go ahead and apply some bronzer. The bronzer that I am going to use today is Solid Tan Chanel. It's actually a bronzing base but that's okay. I will use my powder brush and apply it through the holes of my cheeks. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. Also, outside part of my forehead, through the hairline, to my jaw, and a little bit on my nose. For my blush today, I am using my cream blush from MAC. This is called Blush Cream in Posy. It looks like this. Nice bright pink color. For this cream blush, I prefer using my small duo fiber brush from Sigma. As you can see, I am applying the blush more towards the back of my cheeks to give me a nice sleek face blending it nicely so that it doesn't look patchy over the powder that I already applied on my face And for my face highlight today, I am using cream color base in Hush. I am using my fingers to apply it on top of my cheekbones. Through the bridge of my nose. Through the cupid's bow. My lips are currently in a horrible state because of the medicines that I'm taking. For my lipstick today, I am using this Dior lipstick called Dior Kiss. Nice pink color. Okay, so this pretty much completes the look. For a, for a list of every single product that I have used in the video, go ahead and check my blog post for which I have the link below in the description box. And if you are interested in seeing all the swatches of the Vice 2 palette that I have used in the video, you can also go ahead and check my blog post for which I have the link below in the description box. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will now see you in my next video. Bye.